we can detect a trend that is going to lower and lower oxygen, and it's the same trend from Vancouver, British Columbia, down through Oregon, down through Monterey Bay, down into Southern California, and even connecting down to the, to the equator. So I think you can call it a global phenomena that we've got to keep our eyes on. And it truly is a global problem. On the South African and South American coasts, dead zones like the one in Oregon are getting worse, and low oxygen zones are expanding in the tropical seas. And if oxygen levels continue to drop, millions of creatures will feel the impact. Some may adapt, others won't. <laughs> 